Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a quick little tutorial today on how to use your thermos, which maybe that sounds weird. Oh, but first, if you like what you see here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I do lots of different kinds of videos. I really like to do cleaning videos, little hacks, recipes, just, you know, kind of mom life. I have older kids, so some of my things apply more to maybe moms that have older children. So what I'm doing is I figured out how to make a thermos really work for me because whenever I've tried a thermos before, I always end up having, nothing really stays warm. Like it stays warm, but not for very long. So I was like, why does this not work? This is the whole process of having a thermos, right? Like this is the whole point, like it should keep things warm. So what I found out about a thermos is you have to condition the thermos first. So if you're putting something hot in, for instance, we like to use it for pizza rolls for lunches. We do pizza rolls, ramen noodles, leftover dinner, um, macaroni and cheese works really well in the thermos, soups, anything that you need to keep hot, um, you can put right in your thermos. I send it with my daughter to school and she has a hot lunch every day. She is a hot lunch girl, but she doesn't always like what they're having for lunch. So this is how we use our thermos and I will just get right into it. Okay, so here is my thermos. This is like a 12 ounce thermos. It's not very big. I got it at Walmart. I think it was like $14. I just washed it. Then you have your interior lid that goes on there. And then you have the external lid, which can be used as a cup. This one comes with a spoon. It's awesome. So let me tell you how you keep things hot. Okay, the first thing you can do, and what I do, is I just run really hot water through my sink. My sink is like 80 million degrees, I swear. It gets really, the hot water gets really hot. So what I do is I just get the water super hot, I fill the thermos, and then I put the interior lid on, and I let it sit while I'm making her lunch, while I'm making breakfast, and while I'm just kind of doing things in the kitchen. Then as soon as those pizza rolls or the soup or whatever we're making is heated up, you just dump the water out and wipe it out with a towel, put the hot food in, and put the lids on. And when she eats lunch around noon, so it's about four hours, four and a half hours, she still has warm pizza rolls. And I'm not talking like lukewarm, lukewarm. They are warm. They're not like blasted hot, but they are warm for her and she loves it. The other option is just heat water on your stove. The other option, I guess there's three options, is if you have a Keurig or a coffee maker anywhere, you can heat water that way would be an excellent option as well to just heat the water, pour it right into your thermos, put the inner lid on and let it sit. What that does is it conditions the metal so that you're putting hot into hot. And I'm thinking you could do the same thing. Like you could put it in your freezer and put something cold in there, milk, and it would maintain the cold. Cause I've had that happen before too, where you've taken the thermos and it's just right out of the cupboard. So it's just maybe room temperature. You put milk or something three or four hours later, that is not going to still be cold. But if you put really ice cold water, maybe left it overnight and got that super cold and then put it in, it would maintain its cold. So the thing with the thermos is you have to condition it first. And I am an advocate for buying the thermos brand just because I know exactly what I'm getting. So anyway, that's my quick tip on how to get a hot lunch. I hope you all have a really wonderful day and I hope to see you next time.